What's up, my friends? Kevin here, the Tattoo Toy Hunter. Today I'm cruising around by myself in San Antonio, Texas, uh, hunting down some of the better comic book slash toy stores they have here. Uh, <clears throat> first one I'm going to hit up is Dragon's Lair and then one called Gravity. So we will check these both out. Let's uh, hunt them down with GPS and uh, see what we can find. There's a lot of traffic over here, so make sure to plan <laughs> plan out your trip. But, uh, yeah, we'll hit up the first one, which is Dragon's Lair. I may have been to before. I don't really remember, but I think I have been to it. So here we are. We're going to pull in and uh, park, and we'll check it out. All right, so now we're going to gravity mile, damage turn right into the parking lot. We're pulling up already. Within a mile, we'll pull into this place. It looks pretty good as far as uh, Yelp and all that. So let's check it out.
specify it uh, as we would with uh, with recording or recording the series. Uh, I, I don't think we specified if we were going to be focusing on that. Um, I want to say off of my judgment, because uh, we haven't been scripted uh, recently, I want to say it's just no. But uh, I definitely, um, if you had any uh, legitimate question for it, um, uh, I'd recommend contacting the Facebook page for the story. What's up, my friends? Kevin here, the tattoo toy hunter, and uh, waiting on the wifey today, so I got to go do some hunting on my own. I actually, in San Antonio, I hit up a couple of pretty amazing uh, comic book slash toy stores. They both were pretty awesome, as you saw in the, in the clips there. And I picked up uh, one thing I wanted, ended up picking up this one item. Let's go ahead and share it with you real quick. And that's gonna be the Muppets. Of course, this is Fozzie and Scooter. Here's the back. I wish I could have found Kermit. I would like to have gotten this Kermit. I have Gonzo and Camille. Yeah, Camila. I got that one. But uh, definitely wanted to get here Fozzie and Scooter. Real cool, comes with two figures, comes with a rubber chicken, comes with some other items. 25 bucks. Uh, let's go ahead and open this up. I don't really see a lot of Muppets around, like in the wild. So definitely glad to have found this one. Unfortunately, this place, I was listening to the gentleman's conversation that was working the front cash register. He wasn't the owner, but he was an employee there. And he was uh, telling someone else that they were closing down in two weeks. So if you're in the San Antonio area, make sure to check that place out. It was really, really nice looking place. I'll post the information, the location below. You got two weeks and they got some really great stuff. So if you're in the San Antonio area in the next two weeks, I would definitely advise you to check them out before they go. Apparently they're gonna go to like a, maybe like a, some kind of warehouse thing. A lot of people do that. They don't make, you know, don't make enough money to keep those places open unfortunately and there that's because they're amazing all right let me uh try to get these out of the little metal rings which are a pain in the butt and then i'll be right back to show you the figures all right i'll take my hat off anyway so here we go let me show you these figures real quick they're at around the uh, uh, probably closer to five inch range they have some really good articulation first one is gonna be fozzy he's got the soft plastic scarf looks really good as you can see he has multiple articulation points ball hinge on the neck so he's got all kinds of cool articulation and he has an amazing expression. <laughs> He's so funny. Being a comedian for so many years. He's got a pegged in hinged elbow. So that does spin around. The upper arm is also on a ball. So you get a lot of... It's kind of tight. But he does have some mobility. Pegged in hinged hands. Which are kind of gripping hands. They don't come with extra hands. There's no uh, like waist pivot or uh, swivel. There's no articulation, no ab crunch, nothing like that. And then you got a pegged in hinged upper leg. So really it, it does have a little bend to the back. So anyway, hold on. All right. So yeah, the lower legs, you can see that nasty peg there, pin. But he's got great articulation on the feet. They do, they're pegged in, so they all spin around approximately five inches. Then you have Scooter. He's sitting at around four and a half, I would guess. Same articulation, heads on a ball. Upper arms on a ball. Elbows pegged and hinged in, so it spins around. Same thing with the hands. 
they've got really good articulation. This one actually has waist swivel, no ab crunch. It's got that odd H kind of hinged uh, upper legs, which is kind of funky looking. Same thing with the knee, it's pegged in and hinged so it can spin around and the legs as well. Excellent sculpt though on the detail of the outfit. Looks like the glasses with the eyes do come off, which would be weird because you won't have glasses at all. Or eyeballs, I should say. Okay. The little details that come with him. You've got the rubber chicken. Just kind of a yellow plastic, approximately almost two inches. So it looks like Fozzie could hold. Also, Fozzie has his, I don't know if this is a fedora. He's got the little hat. Looks really good with. Also has his, oh shit, sorry. Also has the glasses with the nose and the mustache. Very cool little piece. I don't think people really use these anymore. He's got the clapper board for shooting, shooting movie does not have any articulation but it looks good with paint it's got the bullhorn so you can direct looks good with the bullhorn and that's gonna be about it so hope you enjoyed the footage and the figure this is gonna be my video this is Kevin the tattoo twin reminding you never get that huh pew 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 y'all take care peace yeah.